10 times Meghan Markle embarrassed the royal family. Wardrobe malfunction. Like many royals before, Meghan Markle had a wardrobe malfunction that unfortunately got eaten up by paparazzi. Meghan wore a skirt, I'm sure that at home seemed to be fine, but unfortunately the sun shined a different light on this skirt and was soon found out to be see-through. This again was likely a mishap more than a publicity stunt, but it caught the media's eye unfortunately. I will add this isn't the first royal wardrobe mishap and most likely won't be the last. Don't worry Meghan, you're not alone. The car protocol. On Meghan and the Queen's first outing, there was major confusion of when Meghan was to get in the car and where she was meant to sit. It caused for an uncomfortable scene. This was a miscommunication as Meghan was directed to get in the car first, but as protocol follows, the Queen is always meant to get in the vehicle first. The Queen likes to sit behind the driver, so this whole situation looked confusing as Meghan's being told to get in and the Queen's trying to get in. I feel bad for the miscommunication. Oprah. Because the Royals usually have a policy of not speaking on sensitive issues to the press, it was a huge deal that Harry and Meghan talk so candidly to Oprah Winfrey. They opened up about everything from the Kate Middleton feud to the time Meghan was allegedly denied mental health help. The couple even claimed that one of the royals made racist comments about Archie's skin. The situation brought the royals in a negative light. What do you think of the interview? Awkward exchange with the royal aide. Miscommunication part two. I understand a majority of people show dislike towards Meghan, but being a royal comes with a lot of rules that can be difficult to keep track of. And I believe these incidents come down to miscommunication. Like this incident with a royal aide. Markle was seen holding a bouquet when a royal aide approached her to ask whether he could take the flowers off her hands. Markle appeared to decline the offer and told the aide she was going to put them down herself before turning back to the crowd with the bundle still in her arms. But moments later another aide walked up to take the flowers that Harry got from a member of the public and then reached for Markle's bouquet. Meghan seemed to resist at first but after the aide appeared to explain the situation, Markle obliged and handed over the floral arrangement. Miscommunication does seem to be the root of these incidents. Pregnancy. The game of telephone. This story jumped from source to source and landed on my radar so let's look at it unbiasedly. According to a pair of royal experts, Meghan Markle embarrassed Prince Harry by announcing to the rest of the royal family that she was pregnant with their son, Archie Harrison. At his cousin Princess Eugene's wedding to Jack Brooksbank in October 2018. Unbiased. Yes, still in the spotlight whether you're royal or not can be rude, but the exact way this happened isn't reported through trusted sources. So this could have been played up compared to the excited pregnant Meghan Markle making a miss judgment and announcing her pregnancy. But what do you think? PDA. Husband or not, the royals don't allow PDA, a rule to which Meghan didn't follow too often. This rule meant no hand holding or anything and the media is strict on it, capturing the slightest mishaps. They're in love, they're gonna hold hands. Unfortunately, it is frowned upon as a royal. Do you agree with this rule? There have been many times Meghan and Harry broke this rule, but it could just be an out of date rule. CIA Meghan. This has been debunked, but was unfortunately press inducing and looked bad on Meghan at first. There was major claims that Meghan was wearing a mic pack at the Windsor Castle walk around, and this caused major backlash from the media. Later, it was in fact debunked. A source close to Meghan told Page Six, this is insane and actually damaging to her. Of course, she was not wearing a mic. Claims that Meghan Markle wore a microphone during the Windsor Castle walk around have been debunked and labeled ludicrous. I agree, those claims did seem fairly far-fetched. Her father. This issue is brought up constantly and has been discussed in past videos. In the lead up to Meghan Markle's royal wedding, her father Thomas Markle found himself at the center of a scandal involving staged paparazzi photos and ended up skipping the wedding. This caused a strain between the two and will hopefully finally be sorted out, but also raised unwanted press for the royals and reflected poorly on Meghan. Meghan's sister. Samantha Markle went nuts on the Australian radio show Beefy, Fed, and Nick, calling her bluff on Meghan who told Oprah she had lost her father because of royal family pressure. She also compared Prince Harry to a kidnap victim who's fallen in love with his abductor. As for Meghan's claim to Oprah that she didn't know anything about the royals and their way of life, Samantha claims Meghan studied the UK monarch and even tries to emulate Princess Diana. Samantha 
added she doesn't think Megan's embarrassed of her family. She just didn't want them around to expose lies Samantha claims her sisters told. She thinks Megan was tired of getting busted on stuff in the media, so she started playing victim. This caused obvious major press for Megan and wasn't a great moment being attacked by a family member. Do you think her sister was speaking from the truth or just jealousy? Royal staff. She has unfortunately faced backlash for the mistreatment of royal staff members. She has declined the claims, which puts up the debate whether she did it or not. Unfortunately, whether you think she did or didn't doesn't make getting claims that she did look any better on the royals. This has made media go crazy and really dig into press related around the royal staff. What do you think? Because I enjoy reading the comments and hearing what your opinions are, whether good or bad, or the odd comment that attacks me as a host. Those are actually my favorite. Thanks for watching.